Hello, in this session we will talk about managing SAP HANA 1 instance on Amazon Web Services known as AWS. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. Using your browser, navigate to aws.amazon.com and click on My Account and My Management Console. If you're not logged in, enter your username and password to log in so you will reach this page where list of services are given that are offered by AWS. Click on EC2. Here you can see I have one instance running and it is using 12 volumes and I have one key pair in the system and two security groups. Okay, Now what is costing me is the instance that is running, it is producing hourly cost and also I'm paying for 12 volumes. The volumes are called EBS, it stands for Elastic Block Stores. They are storage units holding data that could be attached to the instance and all these 12 volumes are attached to the instance that I created for SAP HANA 1. If I stop the instance the volume will remain there and that will still incur me the cost but I will not be paying for the hourly charges that I'm paying for for the instance. However if I terminate the instance then all these volumes will be deleted as well because these volumes were created automatically when the instance was created. Any volume that I created manually afterwards will not be deleted on terminating the instance. Only those volumes will be removed that were created with the instance. Okay, so stopping the instance will stop the hourly charges of the instance, but volume charges will remain. Terminating the instance will stop the hourly charges of the instance as well as the volume charges. So let me click on running instance link to see the instances that are running. I should only have one. So this is the instance that is up and running, my SAP HANA 1. So I'm going to select this and now the actions option is enabled. I can click on that and under the action section I see a few options. Terminate, reboot, stop and start is grayed out because the instance is already started. I'm going to choose stop are you sure you want to stop this instance? Yes. Now on this page you can see the state is stopping so my instance is being stopped. Keep in mind that anytime you bring the instance from start to stop stage does not incur any additional charges other than the hourly charge that you are paying but whenever you bring the instance from stop to start stage you will have to pay the full hour so if you do the stop and start three times within one hour you are paying for three hours in few seconds you are going to see the state has been changed to stopped so my instance has been stopped now if I click on the volumes under elastic block store I will see that my volumes are still there. Stopping an instance does not remove the volumes. So in short the data is, is still there with AWS protected. What happens when you start an instance? It's not that your machine has been turned off and you're simply turning on the machine but yes this is what the feeling you will get. That is the whole idea the machine that you are getting from AWS is not a physical machine it's a virtual machine and it's created on the fly when you start the instance a new machine will be created on the fly in a new virtual machine using the specs that you have requested and this data volumes will be attached to that machine and eventually you will see the data on the hard disk of that machine so the EBS volumes are holding data outside the machine and when you terminate the instance the machine is deleted as well as this data which is hold
for you outside the machine is deleted as well. But when you stop the instance, the virtual machine is deleted. It is not suspended as such. It's deleted and a new one will is created when you start the instance. So keep that in mind, but for you it should be as good as you have turned off the machine and you can turn it back on when you want to use the machine again. In order to start the instance again, I can go back to instances option under instances section and I can select my instance that I want to start, go to actions and choose start. Now start is available here as an option.